Former Oregon basketball star Elgin Cook is headed to Las Vegas this summer. Though he's pressing his luck, it won't be on a roulette wheel. Instead, he'll be on the court with the Sacramento Kings Summer League team. Hundreds of fans piled into Teresa Stadium to catch a glimpse of the new and improved Oregon State Beavers with new quarterback Jake Luton and new running back Thomas Tyner. With scouts on hand, the newest batch of NFL hopeful Ducks take center stage in Oregon's Pro Day. As the Olympic trials draw closer to its completion, a plethora of local athletes and Ducks are closing in on a trip to Rio. Willie Taggart has resurrected the Oregon Ducks football program. After a lackluster season under former head coach Mark Helfrich, excitement is once again building around Oregon football, and the team says they can't wait to toss on the pads and leave it out all on the field. The rain was coming down hard today at PK Park. After a couple of rain delays, the Ducks finally won the ball game 5-1, sweeping the series over the Arizona Wildcats. This is day eight of the U.S. track and field Olympic trials in Eugene, and one of the most anticipated events of the trials, the 110 meters with Oregon star Devin Allen got off to a fast start today. With the Beavers coming into town on Tuesday, Chase and the Ducks will get a chance to redeem themselves at home. Reporting for Duck TV Sports, I'm Ronald Clark. Now, KZI 9 Sports. After crushing it in the qualifying rounds yesterday, Oregon's Devin Allen is looking to secure a spot on the Olympic team. He would first have to advance through the 110-meter hurdle semifinals and then on to the finals. For many, the NBA Summer League is a giant tryout, players trying to prove their worth to NBA teams and hoping to gain an invite to training camp. For some, already with the team, it provides them an opportunity to continue developing their skills. With one of the youngest rosters in the league, many trying to prove themselves to the Trailblazers and Las Vegas taking on Phoenix, we pick up the action in a second. Pierre Jackson with a nice feed to Luis Montero for the throwdown. Blazers cut the deficit to five. Just one minute later, Pat Connaughton here misses the wide open three, but Noah Vonley with the rebound and the putback dunk. 34-28 Phoenix. Then in the fourth, Jake Lehman, who Portland acquired from Orlando on the draft day, with the steal and the and one poster over former UW Husky Marquise Chris. Blazers, though, fall in opener 86-73. The University of Oregon has 18 D1 varsity sport teams, but they aren't the only students on campus staying fit, being active, and competing. All of our physical education classes are just that. They're an opportunity to provide activity for, for students, um, but to provide education around what that looks like and to provide opportunities for students to learn how to be active. The University of Oregon offers 526 physical education courses each year. With the opportunity that these courses provide students, along with club and intramural sports, it's hard to say that D1 athletes are the only student athletes on campus. I wouldn't just call the Division I athletes student athletes. Anybody that comes into the rec center and is active, that's an athlete as far as I'm concerned. Webster's Dictionary defines athlete as a person who is trained in or good at sports, games, or exercises that require physical skill and strength. This definition seems to fit these students perfectly as they are being trained on skills that are required for their specific sport. Whether they're at the highest level or whether they're at intramural sports, they are working for a team. They have coaches and they work out to stay strong. They take probably my PE class because they don't have maybe a personal trainer or a training staff, I should say, helping them. But that to me is the student athlete. To the NCAA, the D1 athletes that represent our school in intercollegiate play are the student athletes. But to others, we all can be student athletes. Everyone that walks through these turnstiles, the 4,000 or 5,000 students a day, you're all a student athlete. You might not realize it, but you're doing something active. Activity is the key to life. Reporting for Duck TV Sports, I'm Ronald Clark. Coming up with both Ducks baseball and softball teams take their talent on the road for Pac-12 matchups. And the Acrobatic and Tumbling team is set to defend its title at the Acrobatic and Tumbling National Championship. We'll have details after the break. Welcome back. I'm Ronald Clark with this week's sports update. The number seven ranked Ducks will have their hands full this weekend with the top 10 battle against their in-state rival, number four, Oregon State. The Ducks will be coming into the series riding a nine game winning seek. Since the University of Oregon reinstated the baseball program in 2009, the home team has won 15 of the 21 Civil War games. Junior pitcher Jake Reed talked about how hard it is to play in Corvallis. The three game series begins against the Beavers tonight at 7 p.m. Junior lefty Tommy Thorpe will be on the mound for the Ducks. Moving on to the number one softball team in the country, tonight the Ducks will begin a three-game series against the Stanford Cardinals. The Ducks have now held the number one spot for three consecutive weeks. A huge part of their success this year has to do with the superb play and leadership of sophomore pitching ace Sheridan Hawkins. 
Oregon News sports reporter Chris Brooklier has a story on Hawkins stepping into the leadership role. You can watch Hawkins and the number one ranked Ducks kick off their series against the Cardinals tonight on ESPNU at 7 o'clock. Another number one team in Eugene is the Acrobatic and Tumbling team. The Ducks are in Azusa, California for the Acrobatic and Tumbling National Championships. The championship competition kicked off last night with individual events, which saw the Ducks take home six event titles, the most of the night. The quest for their fourth consecutive championship continues with the team matchups tonight. That's all for sports. We now send it to Nick Nathaniels with your weekend forecast. Nick?